controlled burns are a common sight in these parts. In central Brazil, landowners use them to expand their soy farms, a crop whose production continues to soar, along with international demand. Thousands of square kilometres of natural vegetation have disappeared this year alone. There are immense fields as far as the eye can see, mostly soybeans and corn. It's quite chilling, because you realise that the entire area has been completely transformed. The soybeans have just been planted. Much of it's destined for export as feed for livestock and meat and dairy production. NGOs say most of France's soy comes from this municipality, Formosa do Rio Preto. More than 300,000 tonnes of soy used in France come from here. That represents about 100,000 hectares of soy produced right here. France is highly dependent on this area. The region lives off and for industrial agriculture. Adverts for seed, fertiliser and farming equipment line the roads, and new towns have popped up in a matter of years. There's even a programme dedicated to intensive farming on local radio giving the latest news on the sector. It's impressive. We've hit a new soy production record in the region for 2021 to 2022. In the Cerrado, Brazil's vast savanna region, the area converted to farmland has gone up 50% in the last 35 years. These soybean producers export to China, Europe and North America. They say they're simply feeding the world and don't understand the EU's desire to reduce imports and produce more of its soy at home. At the moment, your place is full, so it's very easy to ask us to stop cutting down trees and stop producing here. But when you have nothing to eat, how will your people react? As the savanna goes up in smoke, communities who live on the fringes of the fields are victims too like the Gerizeros, who've lived here for 200 years. They claim they're subject to harassment and violence by farmland security. Fernando Ferreira Lima says he was shot in the leg last year. They started firing at us. I got shot. I kept running. But after a while, I fell over. It took 12 hours to get him to hospital, where he was saved from the brink of death. Scared. Very scared. I was scared of dying, of losing my family. I have a son. The river near the village is polluted with pesticides that run off the fields. This doesn't stop them from using the water to wash themselves, their clothes or their dishes. It's sad for us. People here don't eat what's produced here. Instead, it's consumed abroad. As well as destroying our environment and nature, they're making other countries rich. While here, we go hungry. With each new farm, land rich in biodiversity is lost. Although not as well known as the neighbouring Amazon, the Cerrado is home to 5% of all species on the planet.